Hello Facebook, YouTube. Today I want to talk to you about, you know, the rules of the spirit and the rules of the flesh. Now, it's important to see things like this contest of rules. You know what I'm saying? Because the problem is people, you know, follow rules. You know what I'm saying? It's not people are, people are evil, you know, but they're following a rule that will cause them to become the person that they are. Or people are good. It's a rule that caused them to be something that is good. There's a rules behind it that you have to understand. And I'm going to talk to you about the rules of the spirit and the rules of the flesh. Now, the rules of the spirit is all about, of course, you know, you know, being in relationship with you know our creator or being in the image and the light we need this spirit you know because of of course god blew his breath and man became a living soul that we you know that the light of god shine bright upon us you know that he blew inside of us you know and the spirit is about of course giving us life and life more abundantly and in more likely eternal life and the spirit is all about giving us of course this fruit of the spirit love joy peace gentleness long suffering meekness temperance faith it's all about giving that you know and in and, and manifesting that in our daily lives that we can become better people that we become better people to better other people not to be better than other people understand but the rules of the flesh is all about to me a contest that rhymed in it it but really that's the rules of the flesh is about a contest concerning Cain you know you know it started with Cain you know killing his brother based upon Cain seeing his offering and sacrifice as a contest instead of seeing it as uh you know I made a mistake and Abel can you help me to be more consistent of putting out you know, better offerings. But that's another message. But the flesh is all about, you know, selfishness. Like I teach on a message called selfishness. It's about fulfilling and pleasing, you know, this fleshly nature, of course, our body concerning the earth. And the thing is, our, our body is created, as Jesus says, from the dust of the ground. Now, as you know about the dust of the ground, that whatever the uh, soil or dirt it dwells at into whatever climate it's in, it will take upon, you know, climate. If it's in a dry place, the, the dirt get dry. If it's in a wet place, the dirt get wet. If it's in, you know, a, a hot place, it will get dry. I mean, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. But the thing is, the flesh, you know, it, 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 it responds to the climate of whatever, you know, it, it's in. You know, if I'm hurting, you know, it responds to, it hurts. If I'm happy, I'm healing, it heals. If I'm happy, I'm happy. If I'm sad, I'm sad. You know, and what problem is people not, you know, understanding about the flesh is, is a response. It's the quick response that human beings, you know, will operate in, you know, regardless of their being a Christian or a sinner, you know, we have, you know, that's why we have to decrease and decrease from it, but we got to realize that this is our present state, it's the present state of every human being, and the thing is, because it's the present state of every human being, is that we will, you know, be, whatever happens to us, if people love me, I, you know, people, I, if you love me, I love you. If you hate me, I hate you, you know, and that's the idea of the flesh. You know what I'm saying? If you, you know, like I, if you kill my cat, I kill your dog, you know, if you, you know, that's the idea of the flesh, you know, and the thing is, we respond, we're going to respond to that in certain things, depending on how much we decrease and increase, we will always respond to the nature. Now, the thing is, I want to show you, you know, like I had an idea. Jesus showed me this, you know, about the reality of humanity, you know, and I made a rap song to it. 
and it says that, you know, that Jesus went through, you know, that, you know, he went to the donkey, you know, on, you know, to Jerusalem to fulfill a prophecy, you know, of the Messiah, you know, that, you know, the Jews was looking for. And they were screaming, Hosanna to the highest, you know, Hosanna to the highest, you know, blessed is the one that come in the name of the Lord, you know. And at, eventually, in a couple of days later, they're now saying, crucify him, crucify him. A couple of days later. <laughs> and the thing is, God gave me this rap song, and I'm going to share it with you. You know, they be saying, Hosanna to the highest. But a few days later, they'll be screaming, crucify him. They be saying, Hosanna to the highest. And a few days later, they'll be screaming, crucify him. See, that's what you get from the flesh. They turn their backs on you, so what you see is what you get. But living in this world... That's how it is. So remember, when you invest in people, you're dealing with the flesh, cuz. And the idea of that rap song is to tell you the really the rules of the flesh. That, you know, the flesh is going to love you today and maybe hate you tomorrow. You know, it's the up and down, up and down, the yo-yo, you know. They will got your back, you know, today. Just like, you know, Peter said, you know, Peter said... Jesus, I got your back, you know, but, you know, when it's, you know, Jesus Christ is getting crucified, Peter wasn't nowhere to be found, you know, the only person that was there was John, you know, and, you know, it's like, it's that nature, you know, you say that you're going to do something, but you don't end up doing it, you know, and that is the rules of the flesh, you know. And, you know, I say, you know, you, you know, you got my back and now you're stabbing me, you know. <laughs> and that's the nature of the flesh. Now, now, the problem is we associate that with people because people are born in sin and shaped with iniquity. But that's not really the reality of what people or humanity is created for. Understand that. Because the thing is, that's when we start judging people because they implement certain more things from the flesh than of the spirit but we need to realize that you know first of all that God created everybody in his image and the likeness but we need to you know be about sharing forth an example concerning our spirit to shine forth the light of Christ to these people and the thing is like I tell people about you know the, the Matthew 5, 44 gauntlet. And it's a gauntlet, you know, concerning, you know, you being a spirit, you know, be about the spirit and not about the flesh. It's the gauntlet, you know, the, your transformation to flesh to spirit, that these are the rules, you know. And the Matthews 5 and 44 gauntlet is, but I say unto you, love your neighbor, love your enemies, you know. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. Pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. That stuff cannot get accomplished in the flesh. No way, no way, no how. Impossible. Only like what my Zachariah says, not by power, nor by might, by the spirit of Jesus Christ. You know, we can only accomplish this uh, gauntlet. And, and, you know, a lot of transforming, a lot of Romans 12, 1, 2, concerning to do those kind of acts, you know. And that's what we have to come to that understanding. And when you realize that, you know, and come to this understanding that you are shining a light to people that are in darkness, you know, when you start seeing it like that concerning your example, then you will start realizing the reality of ministering the word of God to these people concerning your example. Because that's what Paul says in 1 Corinthians 11 and 1, that we become followers of Christ, you know, that we become an example of Jesus Christ to them so they can see what they need to see, that they will realize in their heart that they, you know, this is not the person that they're supposed to be. Same thing happened to Saul, you know, that turned him 
transformed to Paul. You know, that we need to understand the rules of the spirit and the rules of the flesh that we can get things accomplished. That rhymes. <laughs> I, it, it just comes out, y'all. I don't know. It just does. But I hope you got the understanding of this teaching. I hope this blessed your life. And I hope that you learn the rules and play by the rules and help others and stop hurting other people. Okay? To God be the glory. To him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.